Hi everybody, welcome to Aki Marathon. Super excited about this one. We are at the Embassy of Finland in Australia, a building that I've been to a couple of times, but I've never been inside. You've been inside and led a tour through there. So Keb's gonna show me around. But the thing that With I With the get, help of the Embassy staff. Yeah, thank you so much to the Embassy staff. They've been amazing. Uh, what is super exciting about this one, other than it being a remarkable building, is it's a remarkable attitude from a client. As you've pointed out, and I'm sure you will talk about further, it is transparent, both metaphorically, but also, you know, in, in real terms. You can see straight into all of the offices from the outside. And that says a lot about the value of the democracy. Absolutely. Value in a democratic, transparent society and not living in this paranoid fantasy where we need to hide from each other. I love this as an idea and as a built outcome. So let's go and have a look. So we're on a corner, aren't we, Kev? So we're surrounded by roads. That's north that way, yeah? Yes, which is in Australia where the direct sunlight comes in. Yeah, so it's the afternoon now, so west out that way, we're getting western sun hitting those louvers. Which on that is, uh, as you can see, the design, there's actually layers. There's the metal layer, which yep. is facing north, the big sort of metal wall. There's a glass gap, then there's the cabins, and then there's also where the vertical shadings are which is the majority of the building. There's another glass layer, which is the circulation, and this uh, glass screen here, which faces south and for the diffused light. Oh yeah, and this concrete wall here that's on the inside of that, that continues through the whole building too, I've noticed. The other cool thing, and we've seen this elsewhere in Canberra, is this, the stairs are actually held off that facade. So you get um, the stones going through there, the glass going all the way down, and they've separated that so well, it's very hard to, for, for that to meet as well, but also the reason behind that is the design for this was based on a ship. A what? A ship. Okay, explain that to me. The Ilmarinen, which was a uh, battleship, which was um, around the same time that the um, competition, they found the actual ship, but it's actually a commemoration of the, one of the flagship Navy ships. So the project, the winning project was actually called the Ilmarinen. Ah, so this was a competition entry. That's right. So an international competition. Yes. And Hironen and Hutunen won the competition and they worked with Mitchell Jigglethorpe, MGT, in Australia. And MGT, uh, especially Romaldo Jiggler himself, worked on this project as well. And they did the Parliament House. Australian Parliament. So it is a really refined building and so therefore I think that they also had a lot of uh, knowledge and understanding to procure such an amazing building. Yeah. But over here, we've got this big glass transparent wall. And the reception area. Um, so rising up to where the reception is, and then you've got this definition of entry space. It's just that uh, glass canopy above. So yeah, so the timber was, it's basically like a wharf. And this is the ship departing, so it's, that's why it kind of sinks down below it. Nice. And the layers, and, the, and that's why the cabins, there, there are circulations on the outside, the cabins in the middle, and then there's uh, long strip windows. So when you say cabins, you're referring to the offices. The, the offices, offices are, yeah, the like meat of the, the, <laughs> the meat of the building. And so when we come along here, the gangplank, no, the, the, the wharf yep. continues, and then there's stairs going up to, I think you said they were the, that was a residence originally. That's the original embassy, which is now the ambassador's residence. Oh, the building behind. Oh yes, the building behind, yeah. So yeah. That, that, there is, yeah, there used to be residence and now it's the Estonian embassy. And so this- seen on the wall. When you said about layers before, this, this concrete wall is actually, that this is emerging from within. It actually goes straight through the spine of the, the, of the building. And up there, that's, that's a deck, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get up there. Nice. Yep. Let's go. Where? Reception? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is interesting because you kind of arrive in the middle of a vertical space. 
You know, it's two stories clear that way, and it's two stories clear that way. Yeah. And that's a little mezzanine, really, just it hanging is. there. Yeah, and then there's one there that's a, a glass floored mezzanine. Yeah. So by doing that, I guess you're leaving that whole space much more clear. That's a reception desk. And you have the offices going in there. Yeah. And then you also have the, this timber element, which is the major vertical circulation. Oh, that's another one of those layers that you mentioned before? Yeah, well, it's, well, it's sitting within this layer. Yeah. So this timber element, is the dark timber element, is what light on the outside, dark on the inside. That's the uh, major stairs. Yeah. And then, so you, you head so downstairs, down... Downstairs, yep, just, just go. And so suddenly we're internalised. We've gone from a glass-clad open space and it's suddenly really it's really dark yeah and you can see the underside of the stairs too that's actually expressed oh so here we've got the concrete yeah so that's really the spine of the building it's all nice all, all the services are on show i love the honesty yeah oh, so this is the public interface and you can see that the stair volumes is kind of hanging oh yeah as well there's also this track, so there's glass panels that can actually close this off and this door can close. So it's, there's something really lovely about how you can break it down into smaller cells or you can open it up like it is now. And so this is an entertainment community space, isn't it? Yeah. There's a it's bar. also where concerts happen and yeah. And so you've got a door there as an alternate entry that spills out into a deck. An office just there hanging in this bigger space? Yeah, that's now the passport office. Right. Just hanging there, so they kept... And uh, this is where we just turned up, on that level, hanging there. That's right. And we just pointed to that glass floor element there. Isn't it great, the connections between spaces? Yeah. Which is something that you have to talk to students about a lot, is if you're going to create a big space, why don't you let people experience it instead of just pancaking it and cutting it into separate floors? Yeah. And that's the glass that we were looking at before. Oh, and the steps that we came up. Yeah. So we're we've, shadowing. We've gone from ground level up to come into reception to come back down, That's and right. then we're introduced to ground level again. Mm. But you notice the finishing of details as well. It's actually very industrial when it needs to be. The sort of just gridded, exposed surfaces with the with the mesh. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got you know things are uh, more delicate where, where people kind of occupy. Kevin and timber. This glass floor, I can see the sky. Yeah, yeah, that's the northern face, yeah. We're on the bottom level, I can see the sky. Yep, that's corridors and, uh, and yeah, part of the offices. So again, it's the idea of the, the circulation on both sides yeah. and the cabins are inside, even though they, some of them do use that space. And so completely transparent circulation. You see glass floor here and then glass floor above. And it goes glass all the way along here too. Oh yeah, straight through. So, right, so there's a building within this building that's between right. these massive layers. Yes. Nice. That can all rotate down and close off. That's right, that's the bar. Lovely. This beautiful door, isn't that serious? Oh, and this has been designed the similar to the door in the garden house that we did. <laughs> when you rotate it around, it, it, you, know, you avoid hitting the um, detail above. Oh yeah. This same expression again, so the stair is separate to that wall. Mm -hmm. Separate from the steel structure. And the glass above. Yeah. So you can come, even when the place is closed, and stick your face in that glass and look into all of this. Yep. It's so generous. Right. Do we go back up? Oh. Yep. It's a dark space, but um, you can actually see where the stairs are left just off the timber. So oh, you yeah. get these little, you know, the little slights of, of light coming through. And this box is open to, in the top as well, so it still gets light from the top. They are not messing around with this transparency, are they, Kev? Like, no. not only do you get all of this clear space and the front door there, you can see over to the Mexican um, embassy that way. You can look straight through an office out to the street beyond, to the bush and the, and the road. We're sitting on a glass floor, looking down at the entry space. Mm -hmm. We're looking down to the performance space. All the way down, yeah. Three stories below. We can see Another consulate, yep. we can see the road that way. That's a commitment to transparency. Yeah. I think we talk about the democratic values as well, but I think also it's important that Finland big on sustainable forestry, timber, all the LVL stuff, you know, all that timber technology, but also 
design. It's something that's strongly valued in, in the country. You go to Finland, the souvenirs are design stuff. Right. Yeah. And then you've got a high tech industries. Yeah. So, you know, Nokia used to be part of, well, it's still a Finnish company, but yeah, telecommunication and high tech technology was part of the value. So I think this building has a lot of those kind of qualities as communicated, mm. apart from just transparency. The timber, even though it's local timber here, because it's sustainable, so it's actually tazzy timber, but also this you know, pretty high tech looking yeah. building as well. It's high tech, it's raw and industrial, and you've got the raw concrete there, but similar to the Alto tradition, which I assume is therefore a Finnish tradition, where you touch it is timber and warm and human. Yeah. Because I guess you spend a lot of time in winter time inside. So everything you own and touch has to be pretty special. It's, it's designed, it's, it's thought about. Mm. It's not uh, something you just throw away. Incredible. So the layers that you were talking about before, Kev, you've got this concrete wall that's coming through. And then this is the main... Well, it's a, it's a concrete wall, but that wall you can see just continues and up it becomes the beam. Oh yeah, yeah. Straight through. Oh, this is actually structurally hanging off. That. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so at the end of this corridor, you've then just got that huge clear bit of glass looking out into the landscape. And that concrete just continues out. Yep. And that's where we walked up, that's the entry. Just being able to see that is so delightful. Did you see this detail? Of course you did, you pointed it out to me. <laughs> Isn't this a great detail that the this timber element is used to separate the offices. And it's not full height. It's not full height. So the, again, transparent open, so the light keeps bouncing through. The spaces feel much bigger. Um, but then there isn't actually direct acoustic separation. So there isn't direct acoustic privacy through there. So it's a great way to be able to control people going in and out, <laughs> but have it feel like it's part of a, a, a bigger building. Mm. Thanks. That's very generous. We get to go in. Isn't that amazing? So you can see that roof plane going straight through. Mm -hmm. Again, transparent out to both sides. And that's north. Oh, and then there's the glass corridor again. Yeah. And not only that, then you can see into other people's offices. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. But look at that. Look at the reflection, though, just from the glass again. It just feels like things just continue. But Not only that, you can see through this. It, yeah, it's actual glass. So this is hanging outside the building. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's just a deep shade, really, yeah. for the north. And then you've got that. You've got all this natural light on this side. So that's the layers you were talking about before. You've got this solid wall, it's pierced through, and then this is all clear, even though it's in somebody's office. And the floor. It's all straight through to the performance space below. Yep. And these are the, the cabins. The cabins, yeah. Amazing. And then this is a spill out space for a city. Um, so we head out this way and there's the rest of the, the cabins, the other offices. That's that stair void, stair volume. That's where we came up. Services on show, I love that. <laughs> More transparency straight through into the landscape we again. We can go over there. Want to go this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's when you actually really see the... The concrete again. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, incredible. So we're heading out the back, so south that way, north that way. <gasps> There's a model. There's a model, Kevin. Oh, uh, what? Look. Oh, yeah. That's one of the early models. It cause... is, because there isn't that connection back to the house behind. But this is where we started. We're currently, but we're about to go walk out on that deck, aren't we? Yeah. And this was reception in the front here. Yeah. You can see it's a very strong idea of layers. Yes. And this shows that street that wraps around, all the way around there. Mm. And it's really just a linear extension of the, of the old house, really. Oh, this? Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. But you don't feel that, do you? Because this is actually quite heavily landscaped, mm. separating the two. Cool. A great little meeting room and library. And we've actually lost the view here. So the, 
the offices look out to the north, but here it's actually the solid wall. I guess it's also for screens and stuff, so. Oh, of course, yeah. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Oh, great, okay, so we've come out past the offices and that was the residence there. Yeah, and now it is the Estonian, Estonian Embassy. Embassy. Oh, and this is where we were standing before. So we were down there, we'd come in um, over where the, what did you call it? The wharf. It's like a wharf, isn't it? Yes. And hence, this is the seal ship. Yeah, right. And you can see straight through. Yeah. Out into the backyard there. So again, just a rigorous um, execution of the rules. Yeah, applying the rules and then following them through. And that's like a gangplank. That is the gangplank the going gang plank, plank. down. Yeah. The interesting thing about this, Kev, is this is actually separated. So you've got that wall that comes through that defines it, but then you've actually got a glass separation before it becomes concrete at the back. I don't want to alarm you, Kev, but that grey van has been following us all day. Well, they're usually white vans. No, see, that's, yeah. It's in the movies. It's in the movies. They're grey vans. I think we're about to be abducted by ASIO. They're watching us. Well, if they just subscribe to the channel, it'll be a lot easier. Kev, mm -hmm. President of Finland, a woman, mm -hmm. ambassador at the embassy in Australia, woman, all the senior staff, women. All I'm saying is the world will be better if women rat it. Rat it? Rat, rat it? <laughs> all I'm saying is that the world would be much better if women run it. Evidence. What do you think of all that? That was awesome. I, I just love this elevation as well. It's, um, I think, even though it's metal, and it, you think it's quite aggressive, I think there's something about the, the way that it kind of sits in Australian landscape against, you know, the grayness of the trees. Oh, yeah. There's something about it that just seems to feather away. Yeah. Don't and you think? Yeah, and it's the most, um, yeah, and it's a bit of a matte finish. It's not really a, a shiny finish. And even though it's the most solid part of the building, I love the fact, the commitment to transparency, their offices, you can see straight into there anyway. So it's like, okay, we're being pretty defensive here, but look, this is what we're doing. And we can see them. We can see the people having a chat and a discussion right now. And, you know, for multiple reasons as well, this, this road here is slightly busier yep. than the other street. Ah. Yeah, and also, of course, that's the north elevation as well. Yeah. So this is the more private offices and things mm. here, as we know, this side. And then the other side, facing other, other um, embassies, are a lot more transparent. Yeah. So that's more like an embassy street. And this is like more like just a... So it's like um, a precinct face. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you're right. This, that's quite a noisy road compared to the other one. And this kind of project gets me so excited because you can see that the briefing here was much more than just give us a place for the ambassador to hang out and have meetings. The briefing had to have been, these are our entrenched values, please create spaces and a building that reflects those values. Mm. I think they've nailed it. Yeah, and I think they took the whole analogy really well as well, because mm -hmm. this could have looked like some cheesy ship, yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah. But you know, it, it, at the same time, it just pragmatically answered the orientation. It pragmatically kind of continued the residence, I think as a, um, as a, as a diagram, mm -hmm. pretty much. It dealt with the landscape. Um, and also, yeah, those, those values. So what, what are those values? Not just the, the democracy and transparency, but also the articulation, I guess, in the way that it, it, it celebrates design, uh, technology, and um, forestry. Uh, have you been to visit? Um, do, you, do you agree with us that it's a pretty great embassy? Have you seen better? Leave a comment. Yeah, if you want to check out a bit more about the embassy, uh, we have the link for the embassy below in the description. Time for the pub. Yeah, finally. Kippies. Kippies. Bye bye. <laughs>